Welcome back viewers our top focus Isro had earlier said two satellites launched to perform space docking experiments were brought within 3 meters of the distance and then moved safely back in a trial attempt remember all these things are now being looked at as the project had also that had been sanctioned is now being overlooked we also need to uh, get in a sense of why and what looked like an inevitable achievement in the early hours was put on hold by isro scientists who were observing and controlling the two spacecrafts at the spadex mission i want to first go across to my guests to get in a sense of uh, what's happening we joined by former isro scientist manish pirohit on this um mr pirohit the first thing is that isro had noted that chaser and target spacecraft were clearly visible 15 meters apart and they had posted it they said we just 50 meters away from an exciting handshake however at 7 6 am the scientists decided to put on hold the docking exercise until further analysis what could be the reasons of putting it on hold yeah good evening uh, everyone so actually what has happened is uh, we were as close as 3 meters away from a uh, spectacular event of talking but uh, it is expected that uh, at that particular such close approaches and such close distances there is a setup that is called proximity and docking sensor system so uh, if we understand the whole process of how this docking and rendezvous happens then it will give us a better idea that what might have happened at that moment when isro decided that we have to move the satellites away so when the satellites are say 20 kilometers away then laser range finders and uh, rendezvous sensors they play a very important role in making a close approach so laser range finders play a role in finding the distance between these two target and change spacecrafts and it is very precise very accurate and then we start bringing the satellites closer to each other the rendezvous sensors they will tell about the orientation about the alignment of the spacecrafts in x y and z direction because that is important in the case we have to have a perfect docking it's not just about approaching it's about approaching with the right alignment now there are position uh, calculations there is orientation calculation and there is velocity calculation so when we are as close as 3 meters Does at the time the proximity and docking sensor system it comes into role play it becomes active and it starts giving the data about the alignment about the approach distance and about the approach velocity. Okay. But when ISRO talks about bringing the satellite again back to larger distances, they drifted away to ten kilometers distance. Now they are again approaching each other, and presently they might be around somewhere four kilometers away from each other. At this moment. we can say when isro was saying that they are going to analyze the data hmm. means they might have observed something in the sensor data because this whole system is an autonomous system and sensors play the very vital and critical role in deciding whether the process will go on or will it has to abort so we can say that at 3 meters distance when the two satellites are at a distance of 3 meters then isro might have observed that there was some anomaly maybe in the proximity and docking sensor system which might have raised an alarm that okay we shouldn't go ahead and let's analyze the data to better understand what is happening okay. so that when we again attempt it will be a successful uh, maneuver Uh, I understand this point Manish but the mission was critical for India you know we were looking at it to become the fourth country in the world to have satellite successful docking capabilities uh, do you think in the near future is going to be a possibility Yeah actually this mission has is not over yet actually uh, presently right now both the satellites are in orbit and they are right now approaching each other again and ISRO is saying that they are analyzing the data means oh. ISRO right now is not ruling out the possibility that we might see a docking attempt in near future so it's it's not it's not, it's not ruling out that particular possibility one point second yes this is a very critical operation why because if we talk about chandrayaan 4 if we talk about bharti antrik station if we talk about any other future big mission that we are planning whether we we plan about the ambitious taking indian on the moon docking plays a very very important vital and critical role in all such missions so we should have the capability to dock our systems in space autonomously else all these missions are going to get delayed 
Okay, I also understand what you're saying, Manish, that docking two moving satellites in space is a complex operation, so it's no surprise that ISRO is being extremely cautious. Let me also, Manish, introduce my next guest on the show, Dr. Venkateshwar Sharma, former Deputy Director, ISRO. Dr. Sharma, you've seen that there seems to have been an abortion of the mission by ISRO. Uh, do we say that or should we say that it's going to once again be attempted to dock the SPADIC satellites that successfully came, like Manish was telling us, three meters to each other? Uh, I don't think it's an abort mission or anything like that. There's still there is a hope, right? Right. Uh, as, of course, it's a very complex mission. Look, we have to understand one thing. The TV uh, network, our uh, uh, mobile network, etc., it's a different type. It's a 36,000 kilometer orbit geosynchronous satellite. Now, what you have launched for uh, SpaceX mission is 550 kilometer orbit, where the visibility of the satellite is only for 20 minutes over the Indian uh, uh, Indian uh, network where the docking has to happen. Therefore, remaining time of the day, the satellite is not visible. So whenever the satellite is visible, then the conditions of the visibility of the sun, the sun, you know, amount of the sun energy on the satellite should be sufficient. All the conditions should be met. Then only the docking can happen. So it's a very complex mission at this particular point of 550 kilometer, uh, you know, uh, orbit where the satellites are uh, launched. Therefore, uh, the three, three meter, uh, you know, satellite has come and it has been, you know, holding there. And after that, during the, you know, visibility, loss of visibility, what we call it, when the satellite moves out of the Bangalore network, we call it as loss of visibility. During the loss of visibility, the satellite is being parked at the same distance so that during non-visibility period, it doesn't collide. This is a very complex. Please understand this and the viewers should, viewer should understand this particular point that when the satellite is not under visibility condition, satellite should not collide. If it collides, it becomes disastrous. Therefore, Israel is playing a very safe game. So whenever it is under visible condition, we are achieving three meters, I uh, think, then we are trying to dock. If we are not able to dock, the satellite is being kept at a safe distance of maybe about 200 or 240 meters. And I don't think uh, this will be, uh, you know, uh, the end of it. And definitely there will be an opportunity for ISRO to uh, dock uh, the SPADEX, uh, you know, one and two. And I'm sure it will be successful. I'm absolutely sure and fingers crossed that you're right. I want to ask you another question. Uh, Dr. Sharma, a successful docking makes India only the fourth country in the world after the US, Russia and China to have the capability. Uh, the docking has been postponed. How soon do you think we can achieve success? See, we have uh, the window up to 22nd of uh, January. There is a possibility that, uh, you know, ISRO uh, can attempt for uh, docking once again. But there is a lot of learning and simulation going on. This, uh, whatever is happening, even though, uh, you know, uh, physically it has not been docked and that has, it has not been reported to uh, the country that the docking is successful, but still the experiments which are going on, the simulations which are going on, the studies which are going on are phenomenal. Let us understand and appreciate this particular effort of ISRO. The amount of learning is so high. And I'm sure uh, before 22nd of January, uh, up to 22nd of January, definitely there is window with which this, you know, uh, the satellite docking uh, can happen and ISRO can attempt also, might attempt as well uh, internally with all the parameters uh, getting stable. Beyond that, the, of course, there is going to be a little bit of eclipse period coming into the satellite arena. So it might uh, get more time, but I'm sure that uh, we will get good results before 22nd of January 2025. Absolutely. On that note and fingers crossed, we wish all our ISRO scientists the very best. I want to thank Dr. Venkateshwar Sharma, former Deputy Director of ISRO, and Manish Purohit, former ISRO scientist, for joining us. Fingers crossed that this happens before the 22nd of January.